Hello kids from Maine. As requested, this video is being made with a real video camera. Happy summer, everybody! Oh wait, summer's not for another four weeks. Can you believe it? Just look at this place and tell me that it doesn't seem like it's summer. Ha 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 ha. I'm pleased. So this past weekend, I was at All State Music Festival, which was a lot of fun, and I played with the orchestra, and we played really good music, and it was beautiful and really exciting. And I'm now quite tired, and I got home from school today with my creativity levels at possibly an all-time low, which, if you were in my kilt class, you know that that's saying something. Today, I'm going to be telling you about something that I find truly fascinating, and that is pie. No, not that pie. For centuries, people have known that there was this number pi that was the ratio of the circumference to the diameter of a circle. We've known for a long time that the number existed, but we didn't know exactly what it was. So we need really big, powerful computers and um, infinite series to calculate it, and people didn't have supercomputers until pretty recently. So my project, I studied the ways that people have found it, and I'm going to explain one of them to you. It uses probability. So imagine that you are driving down the highway in your car. There are a lot of bugs that smack the window, right? Well, imagine that you put on the windshield of your car a circle, like this. Around that circle, you draw a square, like that. Now, you got the square and the circle. And the bugs are gonna be coming along, banging in, can you see that? Banging in to the windshield, the circle and the square in random places. Now how, you may ask, is this leading us to finding an estimation for pi? Well, the probability that a bug will land in the middle of the circle, as opposed to in the square outside of the circle, is the ratio, the area of the circle to the area of the square. The area of the circle, as you probably know, is pi r squared, and the area of the square is the side times the side. And in this case, the side is equal to two radiuses, so it's two r all squared. That means that it's four r squared. Then the ratio of the area of the circle to the area of the square is pi r squared over 4 r squared. And then you can cross out the r's and you get pi over 4. Pi over 4 is equal to the number of bugs that land in the circle to the total number of bugs that land in the square. Let's actually drive the car down the interstate. So we're driving, we're driving, we're driving, we're driving, we're driving, we're driving smacking against the window. And when we get back, we count them. We find that there were 250 bugs that landed in the square as a whole, and there were, and there were 195 bugs that landed in the circle. So we say pi over 4, pi over 4 equals 195 over 250, and we solve for pi, and we get that pi is equal to 3.12. And that's not too bad, an estimation. Alright, so You'll see me next week, and I'll see you tomorrow, Jesse. Bye.